joined by Kelly Meadows, Mary, Sally, and Julie are all auditioning for their favorite soap opera. Now we'll see whether what it what it takes for them to be the true drama queens that they are. <coughs> <coughs> I can't believe I get an audition for my favorite part of Gloria! On my favorite soap opera. Living, loving, and looting in Louisiana. I can't wait to try my southern accent. Bo, I know you're in love with Sarah, but I accidentally poisoned her bonbons with insecticide. <laughs> She's in the hospital recovering, and her house is free of ugly pests. <laughs> in the meantime, why don't you and I go to the party tonight. That's a southern accent. The part's as good as mine. Why don't you and I go to the party tonight? Yep, it's mine. Sorry. I wonder what happened to the last Gloria. Well, she couldn't do the accent. And I hear she was a cursed witch backstage. She wanted tuna salad every day for lunch. And then Bo would have to kiss her, and he called her fish breath. And she said, Nobody calls me fish breath. And the producers thought it was so funny that they wrote it into the script that Bo called her fish breath. That was so funny. I loved it. Well, Gloria didn't, but she's too important to write out of the show. So I'm going to play her. I doubt that fish breath. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong on two counts. Which two? I don't know. You've insulted me so much, I don't know what all you've called me. Well, you can call me. Gloria, or fish breath, if you'd rather. I'll be kissing Bo on television, while you two will just have him on your Christmas wish list. What's that? Oh, nothing. I think it's something. She pulls something out of her purse and hides it from you. That's something pretty sneaky for someone to do, isn't it? Like she's leading us on. It's a script. Where'd you get that? Oh. I have my ways. Maybe I know someone in the production who happened to accidentally leave a copy after an executive dinner. I'll arrange an accident. That is <laughs> no fair. You got a head start, an unfair advantage. She needs one with that accent. Gloria doesn't have a southern accent. She has a Yankee trying to be southern accent. That's why it's set in northern Louisiana and not Shreveport. Not New Orleans. That's why it's set in Shreveport. Whatever. Where even is Shreveport? No one's even. Well, you know what? When the call is final, these lines will be mine. Get it? All mine. Charlene, I can't believe the dirt you've done me. I hope you know you're gonna pay for this, even if it takes every fiber of my being. Let me see that. Charlene. I can't believe the dirt you've done me. I hope you know you're going to pay for this if it takes every fiber of my being. No, like this. Charlene. <laughs> Charlene. 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 <clears throat> How about this? Charlene. There, mine is best. <laughs> Let me try again. Charlene. If you do it like that, you deserve whatever dirt Charlene did you. <laughs> now wait a minute, who is Charlene? I've never seen her on the show before. Oh no, your script is bogus. No, no, I'll bet I have paid for this episode! Which I'll have to commit to memory. After all, I will have to learn a whole new episode a day. Ha, huh. you're going to have to watch a whole new episode a day and you're going to have to watch me. You can both dream on, and since you can't act, I'd say dreaming's a pretty good hobby for you. Well, I have the experience. When I was in the eighth grade, I was cast as Juliet in a Shakespeare play. I forget what it's called. Romeo, <laughs> Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Yeah, wherefore is he? You know, you know wherefore doesn't mean where, it means why. So in effect, she isn't asking where he is, but why he is who he is. It's an identity question. Well, I'd ask him where he is and why he isn't with me. He ain't gonna be wherefore I can't find him if he thinks he's gonna be my man. But if I don't know why he is, 
where he is doesn't amount to a hill of bean curd. Gross. Exactly. It's about love, not location. Who cares who, what, why, or where? This isn't, this isn't art. It's marketing. It isn't Shakespeare. It's soap. And you two had best not stand in my way. I've been waiting my whole life for this, and I'm not going to let some two-bit hack, or in this case, two two-bit hack. Charlene, and if I have it my way, there never will be. 